Thanks for sharing, readers. The two details that were most surprising to me were that jellyfish don't have a brain and jellyfish don't have a heart. I still don't understand how they can survive without a brain and a heart, but they do. Thank you for telling me what surprised you. Let's get started with our reading lesson. Many of you remember back in module B when we first talked about an author's point, and we learned that when we are think reading informational text, even though it's all about true facts and information, the author is still trying to make a point. We learned that the point means what the author thinks or feels about the topic. So I want you to say that with me, what the author thinks and touch your head, what the author feels and touch your heart. That's the author's point. So even though they're sharing true facts and information, they also want to tell us what they think or feel about the topic that they're reading about or that they're writing about. One of the ways that they really get their point across is they support it using reasons. So if they think that something is wonderful, then they're going to give you some true facts and informations and information as reasons why they think that or reasons why they feel that. As readers, it's important that we look for these reasons because that's gonna help us understand the author's point and help us to learn what the author wants to teach us about a topic. So today I'm gonna to teach you how you can think about the author's point and look for the reasons that support the author's point. In the text we just read, the author's point is that jellyfish are simple but wonderful. So I wrote that at the top of my reader's notebook. Now I wanna find reasons in the, tech, in the text that prove this or support this. I'm looking specifically for reasons that show jellyfish are simple or reasons that show that jellyfish are wonderful. I'm gonna look back into the text to find some of these details. On the first page, one of the important details we found was that they have two choices to go up or down. Does that reason show me that jellyfish are simple or wonderful? It sure does. It shows me that they're simple, right? Remember, simple means easy to understand or not complicated. Going up or down and that's it, that's pretty simple. So I'm gonna jot that in my reader's notebook. Then I'm gonna look at another, at another page. On this page, we were reading about the jellyfish stings. And remember, we read that some of them sting gently and some of them sting powerfully. So they have different kinds of stings. Not all of them are dangerous. Does that support the idea that they're simple but wonderful? I think so, because I think it's wonderful that they have different ways to sting. They're not all exactly alike. On this page, I'm going to look again. Is there a reason that they're simple or wonderful? As I scan through, I actually see the word simple in the text. They are so simple they look like plastic trash floating in the sea. Remember, some of the jellyfish aren't this wonderful, beautiful thing. They're just very, very easy and simple. So I'm gonna jot that in my notebook. They look like trash. Let's take a look at this page. Is there anything on this page that proves they're simple but wonderful? Remember on this page, we were reading about jellyfish, upside down jellyfish that make their own food. Can you imagine an animal that makes its own food? It doesn't have to hunt, it doesn't have to search, it just makes its own food. I think that makes it pretty wonderful. So I wanna include that detail right here because that would be a reason the author used to support the idea that it's wonderful. Why is it wonderful? They grow their own food. And then finally, let's take a look at the last two pages. These two pages were describing how beautiful and elegant the jellyfish was. Remember, jellyfish are beautiful. They're elegant jellyfish. Does that support the idea that it's simple and wonderful? Absolutely, because something that is beautiful or elegant is wonderful. So I'm going to put that reason here, beautiful and elegant. Now that I've gone back into the text and I've looked for some reasons and jotted them down in my notebook, I want to make sure that all the reasons I wrote support the point that jellyfish are simple but wonderful. So I read the reason and I think, does that prove the point or does that prove jellyfish are simple and wonderful? If it doesn't, I need to cross it off my list. They have two choices, go up or down. Does that prove that they're simple? Yes, it does. They have different ways to sting. Does that prove that they're simple or wonderful? I think so. I think they're pretty wonderful if they have different ways to sting. 
They look like trash. Simple or wonderful? Shows that they're simple. Some grow their own food. What do you think? See a couple heads nodding. Yeah, I think that's pretty wonderful too, that they can grow their own food. Beautiful and elegant. Does that show that they're wonderful? It does. Look at all these reasons the author gives to prove that jellyfish are simple, but wonderful. They support their point with all of these reasons. All right, readers, I want you to try out this work. On the next Nearpod slide, you're going to see this draw it slide. I want you to choose to reread either this section or this section from the text and think, is there a reason that supports the author's point that jellyfish are simple but wonderful? If so, I want you to go to the next Nearpod slide and share a sticky note on the collaboration board that shows what reason that you think the author gave to support the point.